Pastor James Coates was arrested and sent to prison a couple of weeks ago in Canada. What did he do? He held a church service. Coates was denied bail. Apparently, he is set to be released soon. He is still facing at least one charge. His wife, Erin, said he had a very tough time in jail. He was placed in a two-week quarantine, only allowed to leave the cell twice for 15 minutes each time. It's a shocking story. We spoke to Erin Coates earlier about her husband's case. Here's what she told us. Ms. Coates, thanks very much for coming on. It's hard to believe, it's shocking, really, that your husband is in jail. First, how's he doing? Well, he's in prison. Um, he, he's facing all the regular things you would face there, uh, trouble with food and, um, you know, I don't even really know what to say. How is he doing? Um, he is yeah. a... He's a shepherd. He's a he's a Bible teacher. He's a theologian. He's not able to shepherd the people that he loves. He's not able to uh, challenge his mind. He's not able to serve in the way that he loves to serve people. So this is this is hard on him. A grown man sitting in prison for preaching a sermon. Um, this is such obvious tyranny that I've got to ask, have any authorities in Canada come to your help? I mean, this is the ruling of one judge, but you have a lot of politicians in Alberta. Are any of them coming to the rescue? Sure. I think that there's actually um, MPs and some MLAs behind the scenes that are, are trying to help us. But other than that, I think their hands are tied. You, are, are you Canadian? I am Canadian, yes. So you grew up in the country. Do you recognize it now? No, I don't. This is definitely not the nation that I grew up in. What do you think, what do you think happened? Well, I think there's been a—we're like a boiling frog for a while. I think our freedoms have just been slowly stripped from us and, and, and so slowly over time that we didn't even realize it. And so when something like a health order is put in place that takes away your freedoms, it's not shocking to people. And it really should be shocking to people that there is a pastor in jail right now who's given his life to sacrifice and love other people, uh, to worship God, that that's not shocking to a lot of people. And it really should be. We are on a dangerous uh, road right now. And I think because we've just been in the pot for so long, boiling, that people aren't really realizing the danger that we're facing as a nation. Throughout the United States, we've seen Christian ministers harassed because they are Christian ministers and therefore disobedient. They serve a higher power. You haven't seen this happen to people who run abortion clinics or strip bars or marijuana dispensaries. Do you believe, and that's in this country, do you believe your husband was singled out because he's a Christian pastor. Well, I have to believe that the enemy is singling him out. We have a real enemy who really hates the Lord Jesus Christ and really hates the blood bought body that he purchased on the cross and has given new life to. Um, yes, we have an absolute real enemy, and he uses people to target the ministers of God. We know that through scripture. We know that through church history. And so I really believe that they are being targeted in our country. I think a lot of people watching this who would have maybe dismissed what you just said a year ago are now maybe taking it a little bit more seriously. I appreciate your coming on. Your husband is blessed to have a wife like you. Thank you. Thank you, Tucker.